Hello YouTube, John Willoughby here, just going through a little walkthrough of a computer I built back in the early part of 2007. So the computer right now is nine years old. Um, just a brief little rundown. The CPU is a AMD Athlon X2 6400 Black Edition, 3.2 gigahertz dual core. Uh, cooling that is a, if I remember correctly, because it is old and I haven't seen them lately, is a Scythe USA. Um, I believe it was called the Cross Comma, um, which is a copper nickel heat heat sink with uh, copper heat tubes, heat pipes, uh, going up to what would look like a aluminum uh, fan radiator. And cooling that is a Silverstone 120 millimeter fan. Rated airflow is 120 CFM. Uh, my motherboard is a ECS KA3 MVP edition, which featured the uh, ATI Crossfire Express uh, 320 uh, North Bridge. I have two HIS. Eight Radeon HD 2600 XT graphics cards, which I will run a crossfire. For those that are old fashioned, crossfire fingers. An assortment of hard disk drives, even though this board only supports up to, uh, say, to th uh, two, three gigabit per second. Uh, this one is my Seagate two, ter two terabyte. I believe this one is my Western Digital 640 gigabyte. And then these two at the bottom are both Western Digital 500 gigabytes. And in the front, I have an HP uh, DVD burner with LightScribe support. All in a, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Apivia X Spire case. It used to have a door on it. This computer's old. I haven't been able to upgrade it lately. So bear with me. Get a look at the back I.O. shield. I have uh, dual giga, uh, dual LAN. One is a gigabit per second. The other one is up to 100 gigabit or 100 megabytes per second. Uh, mouse PS2 and keyboard PS2 ports. Serial port. The um, optical and coax audio out. One, two, three, four USB. Uh, those are 2.0. The uh, 7.1, I uh, believe it's Realtic, uh, that does the audio chipset on that. And then here's the back side of the video cards. I have two uh, S-Video outs, as well as four combined of the DVD-I, I believe those are digital. I'm not quite sure because I do know in order for me to use audio and HDMI through the dongle I have to have a specialized dongle which I can show you here in a bit and powering all this is a Taken BC series 700 watt power supply from ABS labs um, one of the first ones I believe for that time to come out modular um, and of course I've lost some of the cables small case and no cable management options but you know, you just use the cables that you need and plug away the ones you don't. And before I forget, um, my system memory, I have four gigs, two, two uh, gigabyte sticks of OCC Gold uh, PC6400 DDR2800 RAM. And here in a little bit, let me go ahead and get all this reassembled and I'll show you what it all looks like fired up.
drawn to aviation's sophisticated technology. And others just like the view. Why are you here? If you like airports, you'll find more than 24,000 of them to explore. If you like airplanes, you're in for a treat. Maybe you just like looking at the scenery. Rivers, roads, boats, and birds bring the world to life around you. Whatever the reason you came to Flight Simulator, you should know that while it's a big world out there, it's easy to get started. Flight Simulator 10 features structured experiences called missions that get you flying and having fun as quickly as possible. Fly a few tutorial missions to learn the basics, then start having adventures and collecting rewards. This is a de Havilland Beaver float plane. Ready to try flying it yourself? Go ahead, take the controls. Press Z to disconnect the autopilot. To turn, move your joystick left and right to back the wings. To go up, gently pull back. To go down, push forward. Or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Look at that. You're flying. Have some fun flying around. And when you're done, press the escape key to end this flight. Want to learn more? Go to missions and try tutorial one, first takeoff. Welcome to Flight Simulator 10. Okay, now just real quick, um, you know, once again, as I mentioned earlier, this is this computer is nine years old, built in 2007. I believe it was February 2007 is when I built this, because uh, I built this the year after my first child was born, my son. Uh, he'll be 10, or just turned 10 this uh, past May, so he was about a year old whenever this thing was built. Um, you know, people used to tell me with the parts that I put into it, because I did spend $1,600 at the time just in the tower. Um, you know, they said they tried to tell me, oh, that's an ECS board, it won't last. Uh, AMD sucks, it'll burn out the board. You know, I understand, yeah, it's got its crud and everything else, but, you know, that is the first generation AM uh, platform, AM2. Um, you know, when dual core and quad core used to, was still hot and new, um, you know, I used to be a pack a day smoker, used to smoke, sit in front of this thing playing Oblivion and smoking a pack a day, right in front of it. Computers will last as long as you treat them nice and as long as you take care of them. And for some people, they don't like hearing, taking care of them means cleaning them. So just make sure to take care of your computers.